Every innovation starts with a new perspective, a vision of something better, an idea turned into reality. For us at AFRI, it's about making future. And that's how it all began. Eighteen ninety five was a defining year for AFRI. It was the age of the Industrial Revolution. The steam engine transformed society. New technology brought opportunities and risks. Poorly maintained steam boilers could explode with deadly consequences. So steam boiler owners in southern Sweden came together to form an inspection association, Ångpanneföreningen. Soon, they also advised clients on how to take care of their boilers. A consultancy business was born. To make the new technology cleaner, an environmental consultant, Emil Spets, was hired. This marked the beginning of Avery's sustainability commitment. By the turn of the century, electricity was the new source of energy, gearing up the wheels of society. Ong Panfrenningen's attention turned to the rapidly electrified industry, pulp and paper being a vital part of the business. Across the Baltic Sea in Finland, another story was unfolding. In the 1950s, a young pulp and paper engineer, Jakob Pöyri, returned home from North America full of bold ideas. But his employer wasn't ready for his vision. So, Jakob started his own firm, expanding to Europe and South America, becoming one of the world's leading engineering companies in the forest industry. By adding expertise from pioneers in hydropower, such as Electrowatt and Motor Columbus, who were both also founded in 1895, Peru expanded into the energy, infrastructure and environmental sectors. Projects included the world's longest railway tunnel, the Gotthard Base Tunnel in Switzerland, one of the world's most advanced sewage systems, Emscher in Germany, the world's largest power and desalination plant in Saudi Arabia, and Finland's most efficient waste to energy plant. To that, an impressive array of hydropower projects throughout Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, Ongpanneföreningen expanded, growing into being one of Europe's leading technical consulting companies in similar sectors. Ongpanneföreningen established strong partnerships within the food, pharma and automotive industries, as well as within the nuclear power sector. Projects range from a number of pulp and paper mills, like this one in Scotland, sustainability services at Africa's largest lake, Lake Victoria, the Öresunds Bridge, connecting Sweden and Denmark, the turning torso in Avery's birth town Malmö, Lillgrund, one of the world's largest offshore wind farms, and the state-of-the-art hospital Nya Karolinska Solna in Stockholm. This breadth was possible thanks to continuous acquisitions made throughout the years. In the early 2000s, the name changed to ORF. The expansion continuing with the addition of expertise brands such as Epsilon, Advancia and Light Bureau. OF and Perry often worked side by side, like at the Nantes de Rance flagship hydropower plant in Switzerland, and it became clear. We were stronger together. In 2019, we joined forces to establish one strong unified company, AFRI. Since then, we've continued to lead the transition to a sustainable society through our projects. For example, developing one of Thailand's first large-scale floating solar farms, pioneering innovative solutions for carbon capture and storage driving sustainable pulp production at Aruco in Brazil, and exploring the future of sustainable protein sources. From bold ideas of those who came before us, to solutions that have shaped industries and societies, a vision for tomorrow has always guided us. With curiosity and agility to navigate a changing world, Carried forward by the brave and devoted people who shape our work today, we are always ready for what's next. Because making future isn't just our vision, it's what we've done since 1895.